new videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, massage. This is Athena Jezik and we thought it would be nice to show you how oftentimes you're going to end up doing this, especially if you work in an office or, or you just have a friend over and they're just sitting at the table, is there's ways of working just to give a little relief uh, just from sitting in a chair without any cushion. Now here she's holding herself up, she is leaning back on the chair and the, everything is as relaxed as possible. So when you're doing this, you have to remember, if you're going to give a lot of push forward, you might want to be able to hold them back this direction. Uh, but we'll just see how that works, okay? So how you work it from here, oftentimes if you're at work, if the person will have their clothes on, so this is going to be a little bit different technique. Uh, clothing, you will not use any oil with clothing. Sometimes the fabric is a little rough to work over, especially in a longer uh, stroking type movements. So we'll start out by just rotating the this part here and taking your fingers up and giving kind of a ringing action to the upper shoulder, the trapezius, coming across here and doing it on both sides. Okay. <clears throat> And then, because she doesn't have any uh, cloth to deal with, I'm going to work into the skin a little bit more. If you are working over clothing, take more circular kind of movements. You can see how she's moving forward. I'm kind of pulling back on her with my fingers while I'm pushing forward with my thumbs down to the shoulder blades a little bit. This is just a very, very upper back neck kind of thing to give a little bit of relief. This will just give enough relief to feel better up the neck. Of course, usually their necks aren't covered with clothing. Now, if you do have, have clothing on this next part, you'll want to hold the fabric tight while you're working along this way. You don't want it to bunch underneath you, so oftentimes you'll just have to figure a way to hold and just run your thumb across that way on either side. And then some more of the rotations. And then getting into the neck, it would be required to um, just run those thumbs up, holding yourself as steady as possible and Now here is a nice position to be in to be able to work into the base of the skull and little circular motions alongside of the vertebrae. If they're sitting at a desk, they can kind of lean their chin into their hands if it's not going to take the shoulders too far out of position. You don't want to take the shoulders up in any manner, but sometimes if the desk or table isn't very high, you can get away with uh, letting them rest their, their, hand, their head in their hands. If it's going to bow them over too far, you probably don't want to do that. And then across here, and you can take it down into the, the uh, upper thoracic vertebrae as well. You know, you could do this five minutes or so to somebody at work and it, it will really make a difference. It will relax them out just enough to feel like they can make it through the rest of the day. I used to have a job where I would go on site and do these massages and it was really helpful. It's, it's, if you're a therapist, it's, it's not the easiest work to do from the chair. I personally don't like it as well as I like it from the table, but I know the benefits of having uh, some work done from a chair. Okay, and then into the neck, and here you can do this. You can kind of stretch the head upward and, and make some rotations of the head. Going on this way. I'm, I'm tractioning up a little bit 
mainly holding her skull, balancing the front part of the face with my fingers, but the main pressure is right behind the ears of where I'm stabilizing it, the head. You go to the back, be very careful. And you can roll it, if you're rolling it, be sure to support the head when it gets to the back. Okay. And there we go. And you can just brush them off. Yeah, there you are.